Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday, I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Now, this is the week we're going to start to watch out for some development out there in the Atlantic. A couple of the models are really hinting at development, others aren't, and uh, that's kind of what I expected uh, this week. It's going to be a, a kind of a tug back and forth on the environmental conditions. I'll get into that, but there is the potential of some development as we go throughout the week. Right now, watching out for some areas of rain. We've had some near Columbia, we've had some rain and storms near Belize. You see here, look at the flare up of cloud cover. These brighter colors here, Guatemala, we had some flooding yesterday over toward parts of El Salvador. These brighter colors telling me we have taller clouds, which of course means a lot more in the way of rain. So some additional rain just over the next uh, couple of days, parts of Honduras and Belize, just kind of zooming down to one spot. I'll take you to more spots ahead, but showing some of this white. Now this would be over water, but this may be over here, and that would be upwards of about four or five inches of rain or 100, 125 millimeters of rain. So heads up, my friends in Belize, is watching over toward uh, Orange Walk uh, down through uh, Hopkins. Uh, we could see some areas of flooding. Keep me posted in the comments. Now, this is what I'm watching next. So here we are, Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, Trinidad. These areas here, we've got a couple tropical waves out there, and there'll be some stronger ones that will come off later this week. Now, of late, they've been running into some dry air and falling apart, some stable air, and they've been falling apart. That is some really good news. Uh, but a couple of the models now are hinting at development. One in particular is the icon model, which is the German model. And this did a good job with bar uh, barrel. Uh, and it, it did a good job with a couple of the other systems. It's been an improved model, uh, uh, one of the better models, uh, to say the least, as of late. So here we are in the Caribbean watching these uh, tropical waves coming off. We're not talking about water waves. These are in the uh, atmosphere watching the rain and storms kind of disorganized. But you see right here, let me just take you out in time here. Right here, by the time we get into Thursday of this week, so just a few days, days from now, the icon is showing development. There's two tropical waves. It's going to try to develop this, or at least two batches of rain. It's going to try to develop uh, this one here. It is showing some development now as soon as Thursday. Now, not all of the models are showing this. Some are showing nothing, uh, but this is definitely something to pay close attention to, and I'll worry about it behind the scenes and see. Uh, I'll be watching those environmental conditions closely, but you see here, this here is by Friday night and Saturday morning. Here's the Caribbean. The ICON model is showing a developing tropical storm just about five days from now. So that has my attention for sure. But uh, again, as I was telling you, a lot of the other models don't have this, but the ICON model has been a major player. There are these fronts that are kind of pulling through the U.S. at this time. Uh, sometimes these fronts could actually be bad news and spin up uh, some activity in the Gulf of Mexico. But in the short term, these fronts may help to draw this up to the north if they miss it. Uh, whatever this area is could roll its way into the Caribbean. Now, the American model has gone back and forth. Last night when I was watching it, it was showing some development. This morning, not as much, so taking you out in time. I'll get into this. Jamaica, we're going to see a better chance of some rain and storms over toward uh, the Cayman Islands. We have this little impulse moving in, not seeing development out of that. There's some extra moisture there at the tail end of a front right there. So let me just go out in time here as we work our way forward throughout the week. So not seeing development in the short term with this, but you see that increased rain in Jamaica, and we'll zoom down in a moment. Also watching the Gulf of Mexico, occasionally the American model, this model, wants to spin something up and kind of lift it up toward Louisiana. Wait and see if that happens, not seeing anything imminent. But here's that tropical wave, that tropical disturbance that the ICON model is trying to develop. Now there's still a lot of dry air and relatively stable air out ahead of it. So at least in the short term, this takes you out into the weekend, uh, not showing signs of development, right? This is into next week. I'm going way out in time. So we're about a week, week and a half from now, just bringing you into September. But at this point, the American model shows a lot of moisture around. We are going to start to get some development, both watching the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, these tropical waves. But I just wanted to take you on time and show you the discrepancies so there's uh, no alarms. While the ICON model is showing the potential of a tropical storm later this week approaching the Caribbean, the American model is not. And in fact, it's not showing any development for several days, if not over a week. But yesterday was kind of hinting at that. So point being, uh, things are starting to change as, as we know what happened as we work our way into September. Now, as we watch these tropical waves, even the models that don't develop them in the short term, uh, the models are computers. They they will they'll change a lot. I'm watching the environment. The air is get a little more moisture in the air at this point, and of course these water temperatures, 30, 31 degrees Celsius. 
uh, upwards of about 87, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, super warm, and the depth of the warm water is substantial. This is the deep warm water, the heat content. That is the fuel for things to rapidly intensify, or at least intensify at a quicker pace. So if you get any of these tropical waves, sometimes the models don't pick up on much development, and then all of a sudden they hit these very warm pockets and they do develop. So uh, later this week, there could be some development approaching the Caribbean. Tell you what I know, what I don't know, I'm not quite sure yet, but clearly with uh, kind of everything I'm showing you here, there are some uh, signs to uh, watch out for the possibility of something trying to spin up. Short term, watching this rain you see here kind of building back, we'll have a better chance of some rain for some of us. Uh, south end of Haiti, get toward Boston Blue, swing back toward Jamaica, over toward Montego Bay, Falmouth, even the Cayman Islands, and still my friends in Guatemala, El Salvador, or Nicaragua, Costa Rica, scattered areas of rain and storms right down through Costa Rica, Panama. This is by the time we get into Wednesday. There's that batch of rain right there. As we get into the uh, eastern Caribbean, Antigua, Barbuda, Anguilla, yeah, some passing showers possible, but at least not showing a whole lot. Now, this is by Thursday, scattered rain picking up again. Belize over toward the Yucatan of Mexico. There's that rain in the Gulf of Mexico. I'll be watching. The ICON model would have a developing tropical storm right about here. The uh, American model not showing much yet. Neither is the uh, European model, but I'll be breaking that down as you hang with me throughout the week. Eastern Pacific side, here's Gilma, here's Here's Hector. Uh, both of these continue to work their way off to the west. Here's a uh, Hone that will continue to work its way off to the west as well. This should weaken though. Gilma should weaken and nothing's really hooking back into Mexico. That's what I'm really uh, watching uh, here. But watching these entities kind of spinning their way to the west and you see right there with Gilma, there's that weakening trend just taking you out in time into the upcoming weekend. So it should weaken. So should Hector, which is back behind it. But a couple named systems out there in the uh, eastern Pacific. Pacific. Now we get the end Central Pacific. And now we get back here across the uh, Caribbean Gulf of Mexico. Water's okay. It is starting to get a touch choppier. You see right here, uh, two to almost three meters uh, just north of Puerto Rico uh, at times. This is uh, for tomorrow. Not much, but monitoring the rain and storms around that could give us a quick chop. Of course, you don't want to be out in any uh, thunder and lightning scenario. This is by Wednesday. And you see some of the seas building here. That's kind of the general area I'll be watching to see if we do have a tropical depression or tropical storm trying to spin up. Now, I want to bring this up. The Atlantic region of Canada, there's that chance of some rain, especially as you get toward the Avalon Peninsula today. But there's a stronger front that's working its way through a Quebec uh, by tomorrow with some rain and storms. And some of that could eventually clip us by, especially by Wednesday. Some stronger, if not severe, storms will be a possibility. So early heads up there. Now, as far as the rain is concerned, you can see for us in Jamaica, uh, like I was showing you earlier in Belize, that white shading showing up, which is telling me we're going to have some thunderstorms around, some increased rain where we could get some spots of 100 millimeters or four inches of some rain. So that's going to be that little surge of moisture lifting up to the north. It's broken, so not all of us are necessarily going to get it, but the rain chance is going to be bumping up. Same thing in parts of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Now, as we swing to the northeastern Caribbean, passing showers and storms, and you see these brighter colors catching my eye. There's more moisture now in the atmosphere, and that's why we have that higher likelihood that something eventually either later this week or next week will develop. We'll start to develop in the Atlantic. Most of us, if we get a passing shower though, or, or storm looking at 10 to 25 millimeters of rain, maybe about half an inch to about an inch of rain, picking up a little bit in Guyana and the, uh, even in Suriname, we'll see a better chance of rain. But here's Guatemala, southeastern Mexico, watching these river crossings. So if you're out and about, uh, heads up, you're headed to get some water over toward El Salvador. Uh, these river crossings could become dangerous. The runoff at times coming down. We're going to see some higher rain totals the next few days with these really tropical downpours around. Here's Mexico City, scattered showers in and around Mexico City. So Jamaica, our rain chance is going up. We're up to about a 70% chance on Wednesday. It's going to be elevated too across the Cayman Islands. Not as much, but about a 40 to 50% chance. Trinidad and Tobago, we still have that 40 to 50% chance over the next three days. And we'll do that again in Barbados, watching just some of these impulses of some rain and storms. At times, St. Lucia, we're going to see some scattered showers and storms and a 40 to 50% chance in Grenada. And we do about a 50% chance the next couple days 
St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, we'll see uh, about a 30% chance uh, by the time we get into a Wednesday. Rain chance about 40% the next two days in Martinique, and we're looking at a 30 to 40% chance the next two days in Dominica, but we could get some stronger storms. Guadalupe, a 30 to 40% chance, and you see how it bounces up a touch tomorrow and Wednesday. Antigua and Barbuda, a 40% chance, a 40 to 50% chance. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat tomorrow and Wednesday, and there's that bump up in Guilla and St. Bart's not a washout, but the rain chance will be higher. We're starting to see more action moving in. We're going to get more into an active pattern. Rain chance 40 to 50%. St. Martin, Saba, Stacia tomorrow and Wednesday. About a 40% chance in Puerto Rico, including some thunderstorms. Rain chance goes up slightly for us, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. 40% chance of scattered showers and storms in the Bahamas. 30 to 40% chance in the Turks and Caicos. 30 to 40% chance in the Dominican Republic, but some stronger storms are possible. 30% chance for the next two days in Haiti, favoring southern sections by Jacmel as we work our way into the middle of the week. Belize, there's that elevated chance of rain, watching out for areas of rain and storms, and even a chance of a couple passing showers Aruba, Curacao over toward Bonaire, rain chance about 30%, and it has gone up slightly in Guyana. We're up to a 40% chance midweek, going up some as well in Suriname, so not as dry as a couple days ago. Cuba, 40 to 50% chance, 60 to 70% chance, Costa Rica and Panama, 40 to 50% chance in Nicaragua, and about a 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms in Honduras, including our neighboring islands, Guatemala and El Salvador. I mentioned the river crossings. There could be some of those mudslides. 40 to 50% chance Mexico City up to a 60% chance on Wednesday. 40% chance across the uh, Yucatan with some scattered showers and storms. 40 to 50% chance in northern Colombia and about a 30 to 40% chance through midweek through northern Venezuela, mainly dry as we get into Bermuda. So this pattern is starting to change, starting to see signs of that. The rain chance overall for starters going up and watching those areas of flooding. More tropical waves coming and there could be some development later this week just to the east of the Caribbean. Know that I'm watching that all week long. Got you covered right here. Thank you for being part of this weather community. It is your weather community. I hope you have a good rest of your day.